Hey guys, Mike here from Mini War Gaming and Epic Duck Studios. Today I'm going to show you how to make magnetized Lunas and Burnas. One of the greatest units in the Orc Army is the Luda or the Burna. Take your pick. I like the Burnas myself. The problem is they come in one box. So you have five guys here and like 12 weapons in this box. So I'm going to show you how to magnetize it so you can pick and choose what they're going to be when you field them. What you're going to need to do that is of course your box of Lunas and Burnas. Gonna have an X-Acto knife handy. I don't know if I'm gonna need it or not, but you should always have one nearby when you're working on this stuff. Pinning drill and a set of extra drill bits. We're actually just gonna be using the 1 8 bit today because we're using 1 8 magnets. You're gonna need six of these per Luda or Berna, per Orc. We also need our plastic glue, super glue for holding the magnets in place, our trusty clippers. And I'm using, this isn't a sculpting tool, I'm actually just using this to put the magnets in place. It's an old, chewed up and gross, and it really doesn't have a good edge for sculpting anymore. But it's really good for just sticking magnets in place. Because it is magnetic, they'll stick to it. But not very well. So I can use it to push them in and then just pull it away. So first thing we do is just put the base body of the boy together. Which means we need some legs, a torso, and a head. When you're putting the torso on, try and make him stand as upright as possible. Some of the orcs like to lean forward. Okay, and we're just gonna leave that aside to dry while we clip off one Berna and one Berna backpack. And the backpack is two parts. The rest of it's over here. And just a little bit of glue will put the backpack together really quickly. Just smear it in there and clip. You can put that aside to dry. And then the last piece is the arm holding up the other end of the burner. So we're gonna keep these two parts aside because we're gonna have to put magnets in them. Now we'll get our Luda ready. So there's the Luda weapon itself. Then there's this chassis that holds it up because apparently they're quite heavy. And then the arm on the other side. And the last detail, there's a couple just little bits that you can attach to the side of the weapon. You'll see there's this just empty place. Just embellishments to make it look orkier. So we'll glue that in place right now. And I just want to make sure we have the correct chassis for this weapon. There's holes on this side and dimples on this side that just line up together. Just want to make sure you have the correct one. It should line up in three places. Okay, so there we go. What we're going to do is just, we're not going to glue this together because we're actually going to have a magnet in each of the arms, which is what's going to hold it to the body. So we're just going to actually let that basically sit together like that once it's on the model. So we now have six pieces that need magnets, both of the arms for the Luda, both arms for the Berna, and then matching magnets on the body. So we're going to start with our pinning drill. We're going to basically just drill guide holes first. And what we're going to want to do is actually start with the arms because we're gonna to wanna to fit a 1 8 magnet in here, which isn't a whole lot bigger than the arm itself, or rather a whole lot smaller than the arm itself. So we're gonna to wanna to make sure we line them up with the arms before we bother making holes in the torso. We're just gonna put a starting hole dead center here. Doesn't need to be too deep. This is basically just a guide for the 1 8 bit, which we'll be using next. And then same thing on the other arm. And then we want to match the holes on the Luda arms to the holes on the Berna arms. So just try and get them in about the same place. It doesn't need to be exact, but it should look really close. And then same thing here, we want these two arms. We want them to have the magnet in the same place. So there's our starting holes. And what we want to do is we want to drill matching holes on the body itself. The Luda weapon, actually sits up over the shoulders. So this is the most critical of the two. You can see the burner just kind of clips right onto the side, whereas the Luda actually kind of wraps around the body. So we're gonna use it as our guide for the magnet should be. So basically, you want it to be able to sit right there when it's fully assembled. You don't want to center it on this piece, you actually want it a little bit on the upper side of it. So however far down it is from there, that's how far we want it from the top. I could get out a ruler and be really exact if I wanted to, but this method actually works fairly well. And then we're just gonna do the same thing on the other side. Again, the Luda is what we're gonna use as our guideline because it's got this large chassis that goes around it. So we just wanna see where that hole has to lie. Okay, so now we've got our guide holes drilled. We're gonna to switch to a 1 8 bit. This is the biggest bit this drill will hold and it's gonna look ridiculous. You can see there's the small end you usually use on the pinning drill. You can actually flip it around and it has a much bigger hole there. And it'll just barely take a 1 8 bit. 
It's really not intended to, but it works. See, it looks ridiculous. It's literally like the size of the entire drill. Just center it on those guide holes we made. And it only takes a few twists to make this deep enough for a magnet. See, that's actually probably too deep now, but that's okay because we actually don't want our magnets sticking out at all. We want them recessed just a little bit. There we go. And just do the same thing for the Ludas and Burna bits. Just be careful with the arms that you don't drill right through to the other side. Okay, you see we didn't come through. Now the burner arms, you have to be especially careful that you're not popping through the other side. But we're definitely deep enough for a magnet there. And there we go. Okay, so all six of our holes are drilled. So the last thing to do is just to glue our magnets in place. Okay, so one important thing to consider when we're doing this is the polarity we're gonna be using. We're gonna have a magnet here, a magnet here, a magnet here, and then another magnet right there. We want the magnetic force to all go the same way so that one arm's not trying to blow the other arm off. So basically we wanna take the magnets and install them just like this. So we're going to install this arm socket and then the left arm of both the Burna and the Luda so that all of our magnets are facing the exact same direction and every one makes the magnet beside it stronger. And this, so we're gonna start using our super glue. This plastic glue won't hold magnets in place. I'm just gonna put a little squirt of super glue in here and then take our series of magnets, just fit one in and then pull it away. And then I'm just gonna use the back of the sculpting tool to push it in. Okay, so we've got a nice flush magnet there. So now we wanna just do the same direction into these two left arms. So again, just get a little square of super glue in there. So you can see it's actually sunk a little bit below our hole so that there's no magnet sticking out. And same thing with the left arm for the Luda. Okay, our left arms are all ready to go. So now we wanna just work on right arms. So you can see it's nice and countersunk. It's a little bit below the surface. Pop that in so it's nice and deep as well. You can see now these will just clip right on. There's a burner and there we go. Now he's a Luda. So the last piece to go is just the backpack for the Burna, and we're actually going to use our plastic glue again for this. You just need to put glue in a couple places. There's a little spot back here where the hose attaches. A little bit there, a little bit right here on this outcropping, and a little bit on the front and back of this one. And see this just slides over there and there, and then lines up with the hose. I'm just going to let that dry for a second. So there's our completed Luda. And now this is where this gets a little bit trickier. You have to put the head in sort of up through there. It's not a whole lot trickier though. And now he's a burner. That's it. You just made your orc units twice as useful. If you want your own models converted, just email mike at epicduckstudios.com or visit epicduckstudios.com slash welcome.